We were even in a car accident together, and I wasn't allowed to tell anyone that I was at in the car. Yes. Here we go, the 15-minute morning show. Um, Elvis is not partaking with us today, but I think we have we have enough people, right? <laughs> yeah, you would hope. We always do. You would hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of people. Although There's I'm so many at people. Yeah. Scotty B, and he never really participates. Anymore. Zero. He can't, he can't hear us. And his interest <laughs> level is zero. He uh, could no. turn on the audio of the computer if he really wanted to, but he doesn't want any part of it. He's busy. Look how busy he's he working. Looks. I don't think he's really that busy. Uh, Look, maybe he is right he, now. He is. He's got a lot of computer action going on there. <laughs> a lot of serial action as well. Um, anyway, so uh, earlier on the big show, we had the conversation about stashing. And I think we can still have a little bit of a conversation about this. So I, yeah. I was stashed. Um, <gasps> Who would stash you? I know. <laughs> well, it turns out she was engaged. How about that? Uh, wow. Yeah, that's yeah. a good reason to stash you. Yeah. Do I people need to know what stashing is, or do you think they just know it? Okay, give us the definition, Gandhi. Okay, so stashing is when you are dating somebody, but that person never meets any of your friends or family. It's really just the two of you in a very yeah. intimate relationship right. and no access to the outside world. Yeah. And, and just to elaborate um, off of what I said before, if you are being stashed, if you like this person you're dating is not showing you to your friend, or friends, family, whatever, and you also, oh, by the way, I, I don't have social media, you're absolutely, the, the person is, you know, a lot of people came through on the text, oh, you have, that person has a family, wife, kids, like something even more serious than just another girlfriend or a boyfriend. Yeah. Like a family, like a but whole other life. It's not guaranteed, Gary. Right. But it's obvious. Well, but it, it a good chance. Be. Yeah. But there could, what, there are the could. Other, what are the other things that could be going on while you're being stashed? Okay, from the brown girl, yeah. it could be a cultural clash. Okay. So I have a lot of like Muslim friends who date outside of their religion, and they cannot bring that person home until they're definitely sure this is the one. I'm going to risk it all for this person. So there's some stashing that goes on Fair there. Enough. I'm sure people stash people for other race issues also, but I think that's probably a Fair reason enough. that's not yeah. necessarily a side piece. Wait, okay. we need to hear why Nate was stashed. Yes, like, like, we, we, like, give us that story. I I mean, she was engaged, and I think I just <laughs> turned into some sort of side piece. I mean, I was, oh. it was the reverse situation. We had the girl on the phone during the show, and it sounded mm -hmm. like she was being taken advantage of in that department. The fact that she never met anybody from the other person's, you know, her significant other's family or friends. That, I never... She always just wanted to hang out. Hey, let's hang out at your apartment. Let's, like, okay, this is strange. Did it bug you? Did you notice it? Uh, it didn't really bug me because I didn't really want a long-term relationship with this person. But at well, the same time. When did time, you find out she was engaged, though, Nate? Uh, Let me see. So uh, how long were you being stashed Well, you didn't know why? Well, you know, so I would go to text her, and she had an iPhone, and then the texts wouldn't go through because she would block <laughs> me. Oh. So then she would reach out to me and then flurry of texts. Hey, you want to hang out? You want to hang out? And I'm like, oh, sure. Okay, whatever. And I was busy at the time, so I really didn't know any well, better. Well, she would and just come over out. and you guys would just bang it out? Uh, Yeah, that happened. That happened. <laughs> See, Friday How'd you find out? Convenient relationship. <laughs> right. I don't know. I'm not really seeing the problem here so far. Do you, can, can you share her number or Probably no? wants to be stashed. <laughs> yeah. So wait a minute. But how much quickly. longer after you found out you were stashed did you did you dump her? Uh, no, I just stopped seeing her when I realized because I didn't want to be that person. You Immediately, know? I mean, I'm assuming the guy had no clue about me, so I didn't want to continue doing anything. I thought she was All just right. being really flaky for a long time, and then when did I did you at least did good. you at least sleep with her once after you found out? No. Oh, good, good for you. Did oh, I did would you go to find, find, find out? One, one find one out. Good last one. Yeah, you would, Froggy. Of course yeah. you would. I'm Froggy. trying to remember how I found out right now. I think I started to do some <laughs> deep diving on social media and Googled her name, and I came up with the wedding registry. Whoa. Um, <laughs> yeah. So wow. I, I can't so, remember so where Nate, they were registered. Oh, no. Nate, was she taking her ring off when she came to your house? I, 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 I believe so. I she don't put it in know. the cup holder of her wow. Toyota Corolla on her way over. <laughs> well, yeah. and you know, here's the thing. It, Probably was a case of, you know, they were fighting and they had a fight. So then she went and got back at him. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's a it's a crappy feeling. You know? Oh, my Aww. God. My mom had a Toyota Corolla. Did you sleep with my mom? 
Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't believe I did. <laughs> so, Nate, are they married now? Have you yeah. followed up? Do you know? They're really? married. Really? Huh. Nice. Yeah. Oh. That's sad. Yeah. Sorry. You Nate. and Heather are you're, you and Heather are engaged now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She hasn't she told go out a lot. Though. She wear her ring all the what time. What are you getting, bro? What are you getting at, Brody? <laughs> no, I'm just saying you may be getting stashed again. I don't know. Really? Really? Don't you guys do it? You can, do, you with can the dish families? it out, but you can't take it, Brody. I see. I how can. It is. I can take it. You want? You it. want to say my wife is sleeping with <laughs> okay, Froggy? Go ahead. All right, fine. All right. <laughs> no, she's not. Don't bring don't Froggy into this. <laughs> I can't get my own wife to sleep with me, Brody. I'm not trying to sleep with yours. I, I hear you, brother. But to be fair, I have never <laughs> met or seen Brody's wife. Does she exist? Oh yeah, I've met her. Have she you handed it. her to Nate? Has Nate murdered her? What is going on? She she's she exists. She yeah. she, you met used her? To, she used to come to a lot more things, but I think she gave up after a while. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brody, I would love to go to your work event. If you don't go, then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so nobody else has ever been stashed? You no. Know, oh, no. It, wait, does it count if you knew the... So now I knew he was with someone else, and I knew all of his friends because they were my friends too, but nobody knew we were together. So we weren't... We were even in a car accident together, and I wasn't allowed to tell anyone that I was at in the car. What? Yeah. <laughs> so it was this like a mutual college. stashing? You this stashed Were you color? driving? Yeah, we were basically driving? were stashing yeah, Of course, Garrett. <laughs> he was driving. He was, <laughs> shut up, Brody, She was teaching asshole. him how to drive. No. Garrett said it. <laughs> he was driving, but you're the asshole. Oh. Brody, oh, Garrett, that's fine. shut up. Um, he, um, he was driving, and it was in college. Birds of a feather. So we were, we, were, we were both being, we were, you know, you do dumbass things in college. I wouldn't do it now, but we were both, I guess we were both stashing each other, right, Ben? Yeah. A little bit. But we knew each other's friends. They just didn't know we were together because he was with somebody. And it was also a religion thing because he was actually he was a certain background and he was not allowed to date out of that background. He wasn't allowed to uh. end up with somebody that wasn't that background. And so I wasn't. And so, yeah, yeah. You know what's Don't funny, Danielle? It. You just said something. You go, it was in college, and we all do stupid things in we college. We did. Is that did is that like a pass? Things. Like I've heard people say yes. that. Oh, yes. but I was in yeah. college. College, of course. Yeah. yeah. You do stupid ass things in college, cheating and dumb ass things. Right. Because really? <laughs> I, I had a I had a serious girlfriend all through college. I did nothing stupid through Good. college. Good. I feel for so. You. Same girlfriend for four years. Uh, I got done sooner, but yeah, it was it was the same girl for essentially did, the whole time. Wow. Did you ever cheat on her or no? Never did. You never, never did. Never did. No. I feel Froggy's like disappointed. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Froggy's like no, you no, didn't. Oh, so well. oh. Well, and then you realize, like, when I realize, like, everybody in, in in college, like, none of the relationships were serious, and you know, I grew up, and I guess I had a good enough upbringing. I'm like, okay, here's the person you're very loyal to him, and then I find out everybody's cheating on everybody in college. I'm like. Why didn't I do that? I Nate, have you no, you're better you off for out. not doing it. Nate, yeah. have you ever cheated on a Good girlfriend? Karma. Ever. Never. You don't have to say who, but never. you've never I cheated did. on a girlfriend at all? Me? Yeah. No. Yeah, I've never. I, I did go. I was dating one girl, and it was like coming towards the end, and I think we both knew it. And we were kind of like arguing, and then I did go on a date with another girl. Nothing happened on that date, and then I realized, okay, I'm done with that other person I was dating. So right. I guess I technically did kind of see somebody else, but it was right. just we went to see a movie, and then I, the next day I go to that girl I was dating. I go, we're done. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> so. Wow. Good for you. Why, Aww. Froggy? Uh, have you ever cheated on <laughs> <laughs> Froggy? <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, maybe a time or two. N not the not not with not on Lisa, but actually the I was yeah. dating somebody when I started dating Lisa. Oh. And how yeah. did that come to? You were li pass? weren't you living with someone when you started dating? Lisa? Yeah, well, you say living, I say dating, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> How often the same was that address. move out? Address, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did How have the same address. that move out when you were... Yeah. We shared the same apartment together. number. <laughs> oh, man. How long did it last before you moved out or got kicked out? Uh, she found out and called, and of course, my first line was, oh, it's not what you think it is, which is the dumbest line ever. Um, of I would course, say, it's exactly what you think it is. I would say uh, about uh, two months. Probably, probably two months that it was. Oh, I was froggy. The, yeah, you you were living with this girl, mm -hmm. right? That you cheated on with Lisa, but didn't Lisa work in the apartment complex where you lived? Yes. Yep. Oh, so Lisa knew this girl? 
Well, I mean, she knew who she was. They weren't friends, but she knew who she was, yeah. Oof. <laughs> well, Oof. So well. did you have to move out, or did she move out? Uh, we both moved out. She moved back home with her parents, and then I moved in with a friend. So we, we both, we vacated that apartment. She went her way. I went my way. Was there any drama? Was there any, like, destroying of the things or throwing yourself no, out of the window? No, she was actually really cool. But no, she was actually pretty cool. Oh, she knew mm -hmm. why. She, she figured it out. Um, she was actually pretty cool about it. No, she didn't destroy anything. Um, she got her stuff, left, and told me, uh, and, and I tried to convince her that it was the best thing for her because it wasn't working out. We didn't need to be together. I wasn't good for her, which were all true statements. Um, but no, Do it was. Do you know a, where she is now? Uh, I think she still lives back in the Tampa area. Yeah, I think she still is. I, I've seen her uh, at another friend's wedding. I saw her with her husband and her kid, and I want to say that she was much better off when she was with me. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> oh, please. Right. No, she wasn't. You cheated on her. <laughs> I have a question for everybody. <laughs> this this girl left peacefully, right, Froggy? Yes. Wouldn't you have felt better if she got more upset? No. No, no, no. Because I always say, no. had it been the other way around and it was Lisa, I wouldn't have had anything yeah. to take with me. I, I wouldn't have needed to move out. She would have destroyed everything, and I would have been able to just, just walk out and leave oh. with the only thing I could carry. Dude, you wouldn't even have your penis, man. Lisa right. would have taken that too. He doesn't now. <laughs> but see, I think Lee, I, I think Danielle's like that. Danielle, if you found if you find out Sheldon was cheating on you, even before you had kids and a family, when you were dating, would you peacefully walk away? Oh, no. Yeah. No, Pete. Gandhi, would you peacefully walk away? Absolutely. I would just be like, peace out. You never get my presence ever again in your life. I don't want to talk to you. Take whatever you want. This is done. I would look at it as a gift and just move on with my life. Cool. I mean, I would plot in my revenge, in my head, all of the revenge, but I don't think I would actually carry through with it. I think you I would just do. I don't think I would do, I'm not like a vindictive person like that. Like in my, And you know, I have kids and stuff like that. So I have to think about that. But he Daniel knows. used to punch coworkers. I'm not. Brody, no, I didn't. But he knows that I'm, and especially after the college years, I don't take that. You so, cheat, Danielle, you're not a I girl who back. would give a second chance. Like, if you found out he was cheating, no, you're not a, oh, we'll work, no, no, no. we'll work through it. I'm not, no, no, no. No yeah, way. Right. What I about you, Skier? Uh-uh. So, no. if I found out I was being cheated on, I probably would just, I'm just easygoing. Uh, I, <laughs> See you I, later. <laughs> you buy a dinner. Give a second chance. I don't know. I'm just. You what? I've always been, I don't know. I've always been very. Relaxed, uh, you know. I don't you know. I don't, I don't you I'm not even a jealous. Robin? I'm not even a jealous but person. I love you, Robin. Don't leave me. <laughs> I'm that just not a jealous. Uncaring. I don't have the jealous gene. No, I care. I don't have the. Je I've I've spoken to people about this. I don't have. I'm I'm so laid back and easygoing. I'm just. I'm not extremely. <laughs> I'm not a jealous guy, and I don't know why. I feel like I need to be because I see all of you guys. Like, like Danielle, you'd, like, rip Sheldon's head off and piss down his neck. No, you know? I did not say that. Wait, what did you say? I think she said What is he listening to? <laughs> you, no, no, I'm saying I think that's what you would do. You would go fucking ape shit. You'd go ballistic. I piss down his neck. I just... I I'm feel trying like, to picture Danielle uh, cutting off his head and then like squatting wanting. over his torso. While she <laughs> his neck. I think he would, she would snap it off like right away. Did no I object, think, just snap. But here's the thing: I think Robin would like to hear that if she did cheat on you, you'd be oh, no. upset. Oh no, I would be. Right. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, but that's not. Scary. It's not. It's not. It's not irreparable. And it, uh, it's and not, it wouldn't just yeah. be like, hey, okay. No, That's if nice some life. if some guy was taking Robin out on Saturday, he found out about it, he'd be like, so Robin, brunch on Sunday? No, fuck no, you, no, buddy. He, That's he, not he, true. He, he, I don't even I, believe that. Don't minimalize it. That's not true. I, I I just, I feel like there are levels of, there there are levels of emotion that we show, and I, I or, and I, and I don't know why that's the case, and I, I wish I had a better answer for you. So over the weekend, Scary posted the fact that someone's using his photo on J-Date, right? And uh, Scary's girlfriend, Robin, posted that same photo. But at, my wife, Allie, didn't see Scary posted already. So she thought Robin caught Scary in a big lie <laughs> and that he was cheating on Robin She thought I was, on J -Date. I was, I was going in disguise as 37-year-old Arthur, the, the yeah, doctor. She goes, Robin, Robin uncovered something. You have to see this. I already knew the answer, but I played along with it. I go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So she texted Robin. Yeah. Going, hey, are you okay? And the truth is, if you're just watching this and not understanding what we're talking about, uh, it, somebody stole my identity and used my pictures on, on a Jewish dating yeah. site. On a Jewish dating site. Your Wait, picture. But what, 
What did Robin say when she said, I'm sorry, are you okay? Well, no, then then she explained it was a joke, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Allie. In yeah. fact, in fact, Allie, yeah. But in fact, Robin actually posted her pictures uh, and is trying to get in touch with the guy. She joined it, and she's reaching out to this dude to try and see if she can meet him. Nate, what are you doing? <laughs> Maybe she'll have better luck with him. <laughs> I think the podcast is over. Welcome to the 16-minute morning show. <laughs> we can edit it, apparently. No, we don't even – what? Do we even need to? Who the hell made these rules? We're still going, right? Can be 17 Look, it's scary. minutes. What's up now, 17 minutes? 17-minute morning show. Here we come. <laughs>